Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate reply to comments on Facebook using Socinator. This makes it easier to target comments and reply to them on Facebook. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Reply to Comments. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to reply to a number of comments within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Reply to Comments activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted comments to reply to. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query type defines how you want to search the comment. You can select the query type by clicking the drop down button. Once you have selected your query type, you can enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Choose the right file and click open. When you're done, click the add queries to the list button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For post URL, we need a specific Facebook post. Let's say this one for example. Click share, then click copy link, success, paste it in the query box, and click add. So this will target the comments on that specific Facebook post. Next, we have page post comments. We need a specific Facebook page this time. Let's use the Oreo page. Copy the page URL, paste it and click add. This will target the comments on the posts of this specific Facebook page. Next, we have group post comments. We need a Facebook group this time. Let's use the how to draw manga group, copy the group URL, paste it here, and click add. This will target the comments on the posts of that specific Facebook group. Finally, we have newsfeed posts. So this will target the posts on your Facebook news feed. It doesn't matter what you type in here. Let's say news feed, for example, click add. So this will target the comments on the posts that appear on your Facebook account's news feed. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say post URL, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is page post react by. So you have the options to reply to comments using your own Facebook account. Check this one for that. Or you may also check your own page. If you do so, you need to enter your page URL here. So you can copy and paste it here. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Choose the right file and click open. When you're done, let's click save. Next, we have reaction type. Here we can type our replies to the comments. So let's say nice, for example. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Choose the right file, comment for example, and click open and it's uploaded successfully. For queries, this depends on the queries we have created earlier. So we have the option to choose one or two or all of them. So let's select all of them. For filter text, it's up to you if you want to filter text on the comments you want to target. When you're ready, click add comment to list and it will be added to the comment lists over here. So we have the comment, the queries, and the action button over here will allow us to edit or delete our replies to the comments. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should reply to comments. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow, medium, fast, or super fast. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each comment is replied to. 
delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after replying to the number of comments you set and number of likes per job. Number of likes per job will allow you to specify the number of comments you want to reply to per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of comments to reply to per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max likes per day. You may also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep replying to comments even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval. And it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. And time is 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Facebook reply to comments click save we can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing facebook reply to comments the next tool is comment filter this allows us to filter the comments we want to reply to on facebook so the first one allows us to specify how old the comment has been added so check this box to specify the number of days since the comment has been added so let's say two to three days, for example. The next one will allow us to filter by comment text. So if you want to target comments according to the text, then let's say cats, for example, if you're into cats, you may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. So let's type again cats and when you're done, click save. Finally, the last tool is Mention Users. You can mention Facebook users on your comments. So check the box. Specify how many random friends or Facebook users on each comment. Copy and paste their profile URLs here. Or you may click the Select Friends button over here. Choose your account. Then under Select Friends, you have the option to select the Facebook friends you want to tag or mention. So let's say this one, then click save, and then click save again when you're done, and it's automatically added here. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons, and when you're ready, click the save button over here. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start replying to Facebook comments, let's scroll up and click save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating reply to comments on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the engage tab and select reply to comments on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Facebook Reply to Comment. For query type, let's target the group post comments on the How to Draw Manga group from earlier. Paste it, click Add. For page post react by, let's use our own Facebook account. For reaction type, if you hover on spin tax, you can see the format. So you can add several messages, each separated by each symbol. So let's say, for example, nice. Separate with the symbol, cool. Again, you may clear and import using these buttons. And if you check spin tax, Socinator will randomly choose any of these comments. For queries, we have only one from earlier, so let's select that. For filter text, it's up to you. When you're done, let's click add comment to list and it will be added to the comment lists here. The action button will allow us to edit or delete the comment. For job configuration, let's select slow. For comment filter, let's select comment added between two to three days. For other configurations, it's up to you. You may send unique comment from each account on Socinator, or you may also send comment 
for each post. Finally, you can mention Facebook users in your comments. Check this if you want to. When you're ready, click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that you have successfully created our Facebook reply to comment campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.